Okay, with miter saw safety, once again with this, make sure you have your hair tied back, no loose clothing or jewelry, and not, once again, number one thing always, safety glasses. Thank you. Okay, miter saw is right here. A lot of parts on this, big, large 10 inch blade. Be very careful, dangerous machine if not used properly. But we are gonna show you the proper way how to use it. So you have your big 10 inch blade guard, or blade I should say, blade guard, your handle is right here, and inside of the handle is a trigger. Reason for that is, is so that your hand is protected, also so that you can work the machine up and down. Okay, because this pivots on a pivot point in the back of the machine, bringing the blade up and then back down. Okay, the trigger is actually blue inside this one, may vary from machine to machine, whatever technology laboratory that you're working in. Okay, but that is where it is usually located, right in the trigger. Next thing we have is a miter gauge. That's the reason why this is called a miter saw. It has the ability to cut several different angles. What you do when you go home tonight, look around your windows in your house. You'll notice that the trimmer on the windows has 45 degree angles in the corners. And this is the tool that they use for that. What you can do is you simply press this little spring right here. It's what they call a spring clip. You press it and you'll watch this red arrow move. It can do several angles from zero to 45. 45 being here. Now is zero actually zero? No, it's really not. It's actually cutting a perfectly 90 degree corner, but on this saw, we call it zero degrees. Not only does it have the ability to go to the right, but it also can go to the left. And you will have to be able to adjust this from time to time, because we do have projects required to do that. So make sure you understand how that works. Pressing the spring scale, watching the red arrow move around, and we're good to go. Another thing, like all the machines in the laboratory, it has a work table right here, this shiny aluminum surface. Not only this one has a, a work table, but it also has a very, very important device called a fence, okay? A fence is right here along the back side. If you try to cut material away from that, okay, say I tried to cut this here, very, very dangerous. Always wanna make sure you have it up against the fence. Not only is it dangerous, but it's gonna give you an inaccurate cut. So make sure you have it right up against the fence at all times, okay? So as we're doing that, as you're looking at the fence and the table, you'll notice on the right and on the left, two red lines. And look at it, it's actually pretty cool here. It shows a circle with a line through it with a hand. What that means is that your hand should not be inside that area, okay? So never try to cut with your fingers right here. Very, very dangerous, bringing your fingers dangerously close to that high speed 10 inch blade. What you wanna do, this is a quick guide for yourself. If you put a block of wood on there and you hold it against, if you bring the actual machine down, I'll do it on this side so you can see. If you bring the machine down and you bring the wood up against there and you can see that red line, don't cut the wood on this machine unless specified by your technology teacher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how the process actually works all at one unit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand and the trigger, I'm gonna probably block your view for a second, so I'll remove it to show you what I'm doing with my other hand. Both hands have a job here, all right? Which means that both hands are gonna be safe at all times. One hand is gonna be here, the other hand is gonna be outside of that red line holding the block of wood, this distance away. My red line is right about at that circle right there. Okay, once again, machines may vary from room to room. I'm gonna hold my fingers way out here, have my other hand up here holding the trigger, trigger and handle, which makes him safe. I know where both hands are. I know that neither hand is close to the blade, so nothing can happen to me. I'm perfectly safe. Next thing is, is the operation. We've talked about the parts, where your hand should be. Operation is the most important thing. This is not an ax. This is a machine. You wanna let the machine cut the wood for you. So what you do is you put your hand in the trigger, you bring the blade up to speed. How do we know when it's a speed? Is when it doesn't get any louder. It levels out. And here, I'm gonna show you that. Probably not gonna be able to hear it all that well on the camera, but I'll do it really quick just for the sake of doing it. Okay, one thing you'll notice is that when I was done, it didn't get any louder, and when I let off the trigger, the blade slowed quickly because it has an internal electrical brake. Okay, your parents have brakes in their cars, helps them stop. This has a break inside, slowing down the blade. So now I'm gonna show you is that I showed you what the blade sounds like when it's up to speed. Now I'm gonna show you how to properly cut. Once again, my hand where it belongs here, other hand in the trigger, 
bringing it up to speed. I'm going to go through nice and slow. Don't go whack down really quick. Go down nice and slow, and you'll notice you'll get a really nice, really nice cut. So here we go. One thing I always, one thing I always tell my students to do is after you get through the cut, keep the blade down until the blade slows to a stop, then lift it up. Because what can happen is, is that the blade could bind throwing a piece of wood out at you on its way back up. So always let it go down through, wait for the blade to stop, and then release the material out of the machine itself. And that's pretty much how we do the proper usage of the miter saw. Hands where they're supposed to be, material against the fence and on the work table, and know how to adjust the miter gauge, which was very simple. Spring scale, watch the red arrow move from side to side.